stock analysis where we will use multiple dimension and we will make it as a stack what is a stack like when you're placing a uh, multiple plates one top of another that is what we call as a stack okay so to create a stack bar chart you need two dimensions okay without two dimension you cannot create it so we will add one measure only that is one value value here and two dimensions has to be added so i'm going to create it so first of all i will uh, choose the customer to this chart this is simple these two are same okay don't be confused these two are same they could have done it in a single yeah. chart actually and this two also same this two also same in uh, click you or say uh, there is only single bar chart so there are different property of a single bar chart to change the orientation to make it a stack to make it a cluster so this up to this we have created this is a simple bar chart with one dimension and one measure and this is a bar chart with one dimension and multiple measure and this is a multiple dimension and a single measure okay but it is not a cluster it is a hierarchy on a same level you cannot see multiple dimensions here but on the next chart which i am going to create i will show multiple dimensions in a single level make sense here you cannot see a single level, uh, multiple dimensions so once you clicking it you are going inside the chart but i would see like to see the multiple dimensions here so they should be stacked So let's create it. I'll just make this vertical orientation and try it. So um, I'll try the customer, and I'll customer is revenue, and break the customer is revenue to customer and product revenue. Okay. First of all, the one is customer. The second one is. Right. So this is a very simple chart. One dimension and one measure. Now you can go here and then go to the product table. And then add the product name to the axis again. So looking based on the granularity of the data. So product is on the higher level or customer is on the higher level. Customer is on the higher level. One customer. may order multiple products okay but one product yeah so customer is a next level i just choose, choose this is a stack product yeah. sorry um yeah i'll just drag it here i'll just add it to the legend hmm. in order to make it a stack product so this become a stack product you can see there are many customers and there are the orders so you can just analyze here that just just assume it is a restaurant okay and these are all customer coming to restaurant which and every customer has made made your sales right have given you some benefits so on an average you are getting customer wise benefits this is a highly paid customer which gives me a lot of benefits however what exactly this particular uh, customer has consumed in my restaurant so that his sales is high so you can also see the list of the products he consumed or he purchased okay so now you can also see customer and the product names based on the different colors so in this case legend have to be added hmm? make sense so in order to create this chart you need a two dimensions what are the dimensions we have used here the first dimension is the customer second one is the product which is represented in colors This is the big chart. So there are a lot of data, so I will not add anything into this particular uh, dashboard. 
Rather, I would like to create another dashboard for other chats. Data levels is difficult to be shown here because this uh, you know uh, space is very small, so data width is very high, so that's why it's showing alerts. So data level cannot be applied here. On the legends only, we have to take care of it. see the customer name here otherwise as it is listed here on the tool, tool tip only it is available you can disable the legend so unusually I don't want to show the legends data labels possible and in general sorry y axis this can be uh, none not auto the entire data is simple so here we give the final touch to this stack 